UBC is building a community where people can live, work, and learn on campus instead of commuting back and forth for hours every day. It's called U-Town at UBC. I decided to move out here to UBC because part of it was to decrease traffic out to UBC, but the other was to build a community, a, a university town. Over the past 20 years, UBC has been evolving into a more sustainable campus and is setting positive social, environmental, and economic sustainability examples for all Canadians. Sustainability is, you know, one of the values of my family and, and of my community, of course the university. Um, we made a choice to live near where we work and, and go to school. Um, my wife's a student, I'm a faculty member, um, so we don't have to drive. Um, on a regular basis. One of the university's main initiatives has been to provide more affordable housing on campus for students, faculty and staff, and to improve the facilities and services available to campus residents. On a typical day, 47% of students surveyed say it takes from 40 minutes to more than an hour to get to campus. More on-campus student housing, however, is enabling UBC to offer a fuller university experience to a growing number of students. Since 1992, UBC has added 3,800 student beds, and now, with over 8,500 beds for students, UBC has the largest stock of student housing on a single campus in Canada. In fact, 29% of full-time undergraduate students and 24% of full-time graduate students are housed on campus in residences. A typical day for me as a student on campus, I'd wake up, roll out of bed, walk two minutes to work at the Old Barn Community Centre. After my work is done, I go to class. People I lived downtown Vancouver, like, I would be paying much more than I pay living right on campus and I would lose a significant chunk of my time just commuting back and forth. About 10% of UBC's full-time faculty and staff now live on campus. And current plans are to double that number by the time Westbrook Place, UBC's newest neighborhood in South Campus, is completed. I want it to be close to where I work and close to the environment and also the students that I teach. I don't have to commute, I can just walk to work. I have a two and a half minute to three minute walk to, to work and this is fabulous. Since 1991, UBC has added 2,200 new apartments and townhouses on campus. 20% of all new apartments and townhouses are available for rent, and half of these units are kept at below market rates. When complete, U-Town at UBC will provide a mix of student and family housing, university-related shops and services, parks, and amenities in a pedestrian-friendly setting. With the opening of the supermarket in Westwood Place, the resident can assess everything in walking distance. The mixture of different age groups, cultures, it allows for some challenges, but it also allows for some opportunities to really become uh, an exciting, new, vibrant community and be part of the university and its educational endeavors. To date, family homes on campus have contributed $282 million towards UBC's endowment fund, which finances student scholarships and bursaries, professorships, and research. My wife and I have virtually walked into the library and just spent time enjoying the, the atmosphere, the learning, lectures, tremendous amount of cultural events available to us now that we're actually only just starting to dip our, our fingers into, but it's, it's, it's a full bowl. Part of it is to make it a really livable space. So enhancing a campus is like to make it a good place for both students and faculty and for the public. UBC Vancouver is transforming from a commuter campus into a vibrant, sustainable university community.